Hello and welcome to Mobile Testing YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to run Python Selenium scripts in parallel. Uh, so we should do an initial setup before uh, getting to that stage. Uh, first thing is you should have Selenium server jar. I have, so which you can download it from uh, the Selenium website. I've provided this URL in the video description. Please check it out. Uh, the next thing is you need a Selenium Python client installed in your uh, machine. Then you need PyTest, then PyTest XTest plugin, which helps us run the test cases in parallel. Then the PyTest rerun failures plugin, which we can use to rerun the fail scenarios. Uh, then um, I have four test scripts in my project, test one, test two, test three, and test parallel. All the four scripts has the same code in it. Uh, it will open a browser and load a URL. So I have keep on, I've kept it to be as simple as possible so that uh, we'll focus on running the test cases in parallel. Then, uh, so I'll, I'll be showing you two scenarios. In the first scenarios, we'll run the four test scripts in four Chrome browser sessions. In the second scenario, we'll run the four test scripts in split across Chrome, Firefox, and Safari browsers at the same time. Uh, to mention one more thing, uh, this testparallel.py file has two codes in it. Uh, I mean, two test methods. One, I mean, both has the same code, uh, obviously. Um, you can see the first one loads google.org and the second one loads facebook.com. So uh, but the code is same. So you can see, uh, I'll explain what I'm doing in my test scripts. So um, I have a setup and uh, teardown method. Setup will start the browser. So I have given the browser name as Chrome. Then it will wait for, uh, implicitly wait for 30 seconds and then load yahoo.com URL. It's the same script here also. This test two will load youtube.com test 3 will load pytest i mean sorry uh, twitter.com and uh, the test parallel will load facebook and uh, google.org first let us do the initial setup i have already downloaded the selenium standalone server uh, and the version which i'm using is 3.6.0 i have downloaded it in and have it in my local so i'm currently inside that directory I can show you that so the command to start the selenium server is java hyphen jar and the file name click enter so you should ensure this line selenium server is up and running so this means selenium has successfully started then one more thing to notice in the scripts is like I have the port as 4444 uh, and uh, the selenium jar ha also started in 4444 yeah so let me let us do the initial setup uh, so this requirements.txt file has all the packages which are needed to run this project successfully um, so there is a single command which you can use to run all I mean complete the setup in one step which is let me first change my directory so I'm currently inside this uh, selenium parallel test directory and this has all the test scripts so let me run the requirements.txt so pip install hyphen r requirements.txt is the single command which you have to run to complete all your installation uh, since i have already done the setup it says requirement already satisfied for all the packages let me clear the screen and uh, let me just run the test cases without parallelizing and uh, after that i'll show you with parallelization so uh, one second 
let me uh, decrease the wait time in all the scripts I'm just sorry let me change all the wait time to 5 seconds so that uh, the test cases gets completed sooner yeah now let me run it so you can see yahoo loaded which is the test one yahoo.com then it will wait for 5 seconds and then it will quit the chrome browser yeah so the next test 2 is executing this will load youtube.com so, okay sorry this started running facebook then google chrome so pytest runs the test scripts in file name order so first it ran test 1 then test parallel then it will run test 3 so this loaded youtube Uh, the ordering is random so duh, never mind that yeah so all the test cases got completed and uh, the time it took is 52.42 seconds now let us run all of them in parallel and see the time difference so pi the command for that is pytest hyphen n and since I have 5 test cases in my project I am giving it as 5 you can see five browsers opened Google, Twitter, Yahoo, Facebook, YouTube and uh, all the test cases got completed successfully so and you see the time difference it's like three times of 16 I mean yeah you got I mean the test cases were executed in one third of the time roughly and you see all the test cases passed let me rerun it again so I'm giving it as pytest iPhone iPhone n and uh, five sessions so this opens five browser sessions the first one will load uh, each each one will be executing different test case and all the test cases are completed in a Fifteen, uh, I mean, roughly nineteen seconds now. Also, this uh, nineteen point six eight seconds is because I had uh, a five seconds sleep in all the scripts. Let me remove that and uh, rerun it. So now you will see the real power of uh, parallelization. Let me take everything off, all the sleeps. I have removed all the scripts I mean all the file I mean all the sleep from the scripts let me just run the test individually we'll compare the time taken to complete the scripts now You can see the five test scripts took around 27 seconds to complete. Now let us run all of them in parallel. Pytest-n and five. Five browser sessions opened. YouTube, Twitter, Google, Facebook. Yeah, all the test cases got completed and in a record of 10.10 10 seconds. Draw around 10 seconds from 27 seconds it got reduced to 10 seconds thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel